Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Uh, what a joy it is to be able to come every single day and study the Word of God together. I pray you're being blessed, you're being inspired, you're being, your life is being lifted up as you realize over and over again through verse upon verse and line upon line and precept upon precept, precept that God loves you. He loves me. He's excited about us. He wants us to know his word and he wants us to know the truth about him. And rather than be a one that just um, puts us down or disregards us or forsakes us, he's one that is on our side. And so the Lord loves us, and we're glad to be able to study his word. That's why we go to him in prayer as we begin our study. We want him to be along with our time. If you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, again, we come to you in humility and joy knowing that we've got a God that cares for us so much that you've given us not only Jesus to be our personal Savior and Lord, but also to uh, be able to understand that God wants us to know him and his son Jesus and his way. So we bless you today, and we are so grateful and thankful for you. And we are so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Jesus knows his sheep, and they know him. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 14. The apostle John wrote how Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, but he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and cares not for the sheep. And in chapter 10 and verse 14 of his book, John shared how Jesus said, I know my sheep and am known of my sheep. Where we read, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of my sheep. The verse reads, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep. John began with Jesus' words, I am the good shepherd, which means I, Jesus, exist as the beautiful, handsome, excellent, eminent choice, surpassing, precious, useful, suitable, commendable, admirable, and honest herdsman whose care and control others have committed themselves and whose precepts they follow, and know my sheep, or in understand, perceive, and have knowledge of my, Jesus' four-footed, tame animals which are accustomed to grace. John shared how Jesus, as the excellent, choice, and honest herdsman, told those listening to him that he understood and had knowledge of his sheep. The verse goes on to say, and am known of my sheep. John continued with Jesus' words, and am known, which means, and exist as being understood and perceived of my sheep, or by my, Jesus' four-footed tame animals, which are accustomed to grace. John shared how Jesus said, he is also understood and perceived by his own sheep. When we think through John's words in this verse, we see how Jesus again referred to himself as the good shepherd, and he informed those listening to him that he knew those who belonged to him. He also told the people listening that those who followed him also knew him. This defines relationship with God. And this was the reason Jesus came into the world. God wants people to know him, love him, and trust him with their entire lives. When times are good and when they are bad, he is concerned and cares for them. He knows them and they know him. This is available to every person who yields their life to Jesus, God's Son, as their personal Savior and Lord. Let all who read and hear these words come to know Jesus, who is indeed the Good Shepherd. Next time, John shares how Jesus says, As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.